boys and girls. This is what we got here today. Got a whole pig leg. We're going to uh, trim it up. We do it a little bit differently. Like I do everything. But we're going to get it all uh, trimmed up, rubbed up, and uh, ready to hit the smoke for the morning. Board got a little warped, so it's going to be pretty interesting working on it. But uh, So anyway, let's get trimming this thing. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to start here at the end. This flap up. Take her kind of close without uh, losing any meat, but uh, we'll do some finishing at the end. We'll get the bulk off right off the beginning here. That way we know we're uh, preserving meat. I'm gonna leave a little bit of fat just because, but uh, I'm gonna make some crackling out of some of this stuff too. So I'm gonna try to keep it somewhat intact. So I'm just gonna slice and peel her back. Tug. Yeah, went a little, a little, a little uh, heavy right there. And we're just gonna keep working that around. Leave a little on there, but uh, we want our rub to get in there. It's a big chunk of meat. A lot of bone, things like that. So, wherever you can get flavor in it, you want to. Just like that. So I'm gonna get this, uh, gonna get the rest of this heavy stuff trimmed up, and then I'll bring it back. We'll do the cleanup, and uh, we'll get some rub on it. We'll be back. All right, got uh, got a majority off here, as you can see. It's a nice, a uh, lot of trim, but uh, you want to make sure there's no silver skin. You know, to a certain point. I mean, some of it, you know, some of it's just gonna be there. I mean, you could spend hours doing this. And uh, it really won't affect the end result too badly. But um, anything flapping, anything like that, you want to make sure any silver skin is gone from it. It's underneath here. Now, if I was planning on doing anything else, I would just cut all this right off right here. And you could use it for whatever, pieces, you know, pork, anything you want. But I'm not doing that. I'm actually just gonna use that as a uh, little shelter. I'll pack some rub in there and be done with it, so. But uh, anything a little heavy, a little hard, you want gone. Try to define it a little bit, so that way after it's cooked, you have a little bit easier job trimming, getting the pieces off you want and how you wanna do it. But uh, left a little bit of cap, just a little fat. Keep the integrity, there's plenty inside of it to uh, render, keep everything moist, juicy. And uh, that's what we got right there. So I'm going to uh, get her rubbed up and uh, I'm gonna get my rub made. Have it, don't have a batch done yet, so I'm gonna get her done and I'll bring it back. Okay, here we go. Here we got our uh, pork therapy. So let's let the session begin. We are uh, going to be very generous. It's a big chunk of meat. There's a lot of work this rub's got to do. So we're going to let it do its job. It's going to sit overnight. It's going to get real happy. Let me glove up here. Anything that's hiding. Let 
Remember, all meat matters. Give it a little push around, you'll see it opens up certain parts. All right, let's get the other side of coat. Try not to wrestle it too much. Stuff will create a beautiful bark. I always do a little touch up the next day before it goes on. Try not to play with it too much. So as the uh, as the meat sits, it'll uh, it'll start adhering to it even better. Start pulling itself in there. You'll see the next day. You'll be like, damn, where the hell all the chunks go? Nice dusty. Notice I started on the other side because I'm actually going to have this side down. So this is where the majority of the meat is. So that way everything can radiate through. So tomorrow when I'm ready and I go to put it on, I'll flip it. And then I will touch up the other side with uh, any rub that has, you know, fallen off when I flipped it or, or anything like that. Make sure everything's got a nice coat on it. Make sure everything gets all the love it deserves. Because underneath this rack right here, I have a whole bunch of it. That's it. Now she's gonna go in the fridge. I'm gonna let her sit overnight. Let it get to know each other. We'll be putting it on the smoke early.